Let's go. feel a little funny sitting on this side of the bus. It is. It's um, one of those things and I'm def we're definitely sitting in a way that I would be telling my children to turn around, put your feet in front of you and face the front so that we didn't have any issues. As a bus driver there's so many different things you have to look at but how do you manage it all? Well we try to be compassionate. We try to help them manage life all together. Um, we're usually the very first person they see from the district in the morning and we're usually the last person they see from the district in the afternoon. And having a student enrolled in CISD, as a bus driver, are there any benefits for that? Well, as a parent, I get to be off at the same time my kids are off so that I would have the same schedule my kids did so that I could spend their holidays with them and I didn't have to worry about going to work. Um, I get to go to their games. I get to be part of their environment. I get to see their friends at school. It's not boring. You're not st stuck in an office sitting, looking at four walls. You get a lot more scenery. <laughs> First things first, we gotta make sure your feet actually touch the pedals. <laughs> so we're gonna have to adjust our seat. Okay. There's adjustments on the side and All in right. the front. Okay. Go down. Okay. Oh, fancy. And then in the front, seat belt. Oh, seat belt. We right. have to wear our seat belt okay. at all times. That makes Sorry. sense. <laughs> Here we go. So how do we fire this baby up? All right. So we're gonna. This is a diesel engine, so we've got it in run. All of our Glow plugs are ready to go, so we're just going to turn the ignition key. You're going to hold it until it starts. Okay. Ready? That's right. Here we go. Okay. Wow. There you are. All right. We're up and running. Okay, so important thing. You're going to put your foot on the brake. All right. This is a push-button transmission. It's one of the new things that they've come out with. Okay. So you're going to put your bus in drive. You're going to push the drive button. Just like that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right. Oh, I felt it. Shit. I did. Now we've got to release our parking brake. So I want you to keep your foot on the brake. Okay. I want you to push in our parking brake. There you go. Give it a second. I All hear right. it. All right. Now, very gently let your foot off the brake. Okay. And you can push on. The, and here we'll we start go. Going. Oh, my. And Look then you at can this. gently push on the accelerator. Here we go. And, and our, we're off. And in our parking lot, well, that's that's all you get to do. We've got a five mile an hour speed limit. All right. So I need to slow it down right. a little bit yep. before I pick up my kids. Yep. <laughs> all right. Gently on the brake. And then when we want to stop, you have to pull your brake. Pull that yellow knob again. All Set right. that brake. Here we go. All right. And then put your transmission. Push the neutral button. And you are ready to open your door and receive your first kid. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> so if someone wanted to become a bus driver for Comal ISD, what would they do to get started? Well, we have a program that we do paid training. We will help you um, get your CDL license. Uh, we show you all the steps. We train you on the bus. We teach you all the ins and outs. And then we take you down to the DPS uh, station and we watch as you do your driving test. But we prepare you for all of that. We um, watch lots of videos, but we do a lot of hands-on. We do um, 20 hours or more usually in the bus, just driving and getting to know your bus and getting to know what it entails to be a bus driver.